Hello, my name is Alex, and I'm from Ibuka CK Youth Learning Program. We're here working on educating people on the impact of, the, of tobacco. Ducky Hotis is my favorite corner store. After basketball practice, I come here to get a snack. I stop on my way home from school for the best prices in town. Not to mention the best about the leaders. Ducky Hotis is an important part of our community. And it has been here for a long time. Uh, one of my favorite memories would definitely have to be when my dad first remodeled here. Uh, that very day when uh, a lot of the community, people from the, uh, from the city, they uh, came and attended and it was just a big inaugural day because um, after f what my dad's worked for, coming to this country as an immigrant and uh, being able to, to expand the business and remodel everything to bring it up to date, it's definitely uh, something we were very happy and proud of in our family. The community means a lot because we depend on the community every day. Without the community, we're just an empty business. Sometimes when you're working at your family-owned business, it's kind of stressful uh, because you would have to dedicate a lot of your time. But it may really makes up for it when you see one of your regular customers who comes in and asks you how's your day going and just seeing them. It's just that relationship that we built. So the community is number one in our book. I want to say about 60% of the customers that we do come through the door every day are regular customers. Uh, the store means a lot to me because I know what it means to my dad. He's uh, definitely put in a lot of time and effort throughout the years and he's just dedicated himself completely to the business. I couldn't really see myself leaving here because I know my, how hard my dad's worked to be here. Uh, fortunately, the neighborhood has changed for the better and it continuously just continues to change. The way that this uh, neighborhood has become to grow to be one of the safest neighborhoods in the city, one of the best neighborhoods in the city. Our stores are an important part of our community. That's why we want to inform them about some recent changes in the law. In January of 2012, new laws were put into effect regarding the sale of tobacco called the Youth Access Regulations. We care about this because we want to protect ourselves and other young people in our community from targeted marketing by big tobacco companies. The new regulations target the sale of other tobacco products, including blunts, cigars, cigarellos such as Dutch Masters, Black and Mild, Blentvilles, and Backwoods, as well as electronic cigarettes, also known as e-cigarettes. When selling less than four, each has to be more than 250 despite any special promotions such as two for one. You can still sell four or more for any amount. But were you also aware that you need a special nicotine delivery permit to sell e-cigarettes? Consequences for violating these regulations include fines and a record of infractions is kept for two years. And as a small business owner, the cost can really add up. Ultimately, you can lose your permit to sell tobacco and nicotine upon the fifth violation, which would greatly impact your income. 84% of teens choose not to smoke tobacco. This 84% is represented by 84 Movement, a youth advocacy group that fights big tobacco. Another important fact is that 90% of tobacco smokers started smoking before the age of 18. Our goal is to make a difference while fighting big tobacco companies. We work to educate others about the dangers of tobacco and to limit the access of these dangerous products. Big tobacco companies are not telling store owners like yourself the truth about how you should sell these tobacco products. We are Eva Kasike and we are part of the 84 movement. We value our stores in our community. We put time, effort, and positive energy into educating stores about the dangers of big tobacco companies.